Mob tag self found. It seems those self found hardcore players are taking advantage of the mob tagging system to achieve level 60 in the new self found mode. <sighs> Breathe, it's okay. Mob tagging became prevalent throughout official hardcore and it looks to be the meta for easy, low risk leveling and self found. This is the main reason why I never really bothered covering SF. Level 60. Okay. Okay. Guys. Guys. The first thing is, why would you cheat in a mode that's supposed to be self-fulfilling? You're only cheating yourself. Okay. We, we've, we've talked about that. We've covered it. Now, since players are going to cheat the achievement like this, if you're Blizzard... What do you do? My suggestion, and I've said this many times, is a very simple one. You ban... Okay, no, sorry. This, I, I, was, I was thinking about, I was thinking about the, the gold selling solution. I've talked about that one a lot too. You ban the people that, that buy the gold. That's not, that's not what we're talking about. For, 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 for mob tagging, what you do is if you are attacking a spider, and the spider has 100% life, and you do 20% of the damage, and then someone comes up and does the other 80%, that means you would get 20% of the XP because you did 20% of the damage. Now, if you're in a group with someone else, yeah, you would split the XP like normal. But I'm talking if you're ungrouped, you do 20% of the damage, you'd get 20% of the XP. If you do 80% of the damage, you'd get 80% of the XP. You do 100% of the damage, you get 100% of the XP. Right? And now, the first thing that people usually say to this is like, well, someone could grief you by killing the mob. And that's true. But that's also already true. Because if you're a level 1 grinding on spiders, you could have a level 60 come up and one-shot it at 99% every time, and you would get 0 XP, and like, you, you, yes, you can already grief. It, yes, don't do that. Don't be that guy. You can already do that, and that's that would be lame. Um, but yeah, I think this would pr instantly solve the problem. You do 50% of the mob's life, you get 50% of the XP. You do 70% of the mob's life, you get 70% of the XP. If you're in a group, nothing changes. Easy clap, right? I think that's what Blizzard should do to solve this issue. Is it a very high priority? Probably not, because, you know, how many people are actually playing this and how many people are actually cheating? I mean, it's very low on the priority list, right? But... If it was me, that's probably what I would aim for because it would instantly fix the problem. Um, cool.